Today's moral story is the greedy dog. Once upon a time, there was a faithful dog who worked hard with his master throughout the day. He helped his master in hunting and fetched him anything he ordered. In the night, he was hungry and asked his master for food. His master was a generous man. He said, "You have always served me well." and today also you had been very helpful to me i will give you a large chunk of meat you take this as your reward the dog took the meat happily in his mouth and walked by the river to eat it in peace while passing by the river he felt as if someone else was walking inside the river just beside him He looked in the water and saw another dog with a handsome chunk of meat in his mouth. He wanted to ask him who he was, but because he was having the piece of meat in his mouth, he thought it better not to say anything. However, he was filled with greed. It seemed to him that the other dog was having a bigger and more delicious piece of meat than himself how come the dog is having a better dinner than me i want that meat too thought the dog he went near the river and looked at him in anger he snapped at the other dog to grab his piece of meat but instead it made him drop his dinner into the river and he was fell left with nothing at all he howled in despair and had to sleep without any dinner that night he promised to always remain content with whatever little he had and never to be greedy again there was a lion in the jungle that was very cruel he hit every animal that came in his way whenever he went outside his den all the animals ran to save himself but the lion always hunted some of them after a few days the animals held a meeting amongst themselves the rabbit said we have to do something about the lion he is eating up everyone the jackal said if we continue in this way we, we, we all will be dead and then there will be no one in the jungle the peacock said We have to think about a solution to this problem. The rabbit looked at the box and said, "You are supposed to be the cleverest among all the animals. Why don't you suggest a plan?" The fox hesitated. "I never thought about a plan, but now that you ask me, I will surely make one and try to save you all from this terrible situation." The next few days the fox was busy making a strat thank you for all my channel subscribers and viewers thank you for all your great support thank you